Hi Famos here, today I'm gonna show you the pepper shaker build that I can actually enjoy. Other YouTubers already made some pepper shaker build and most of them were using power armor. So I decided to make a non power armor build. Because of this weapon has very low ammo capacity, Vats build works just fine with this weapon. First, I'll show you the base perk setup. Here in strength, I have blocker maxed out because this build doesn't use power armor. And I have all 3 cards of shotgunners maxed out. And one rank each for heavy gunner. You can actually like exchange max out heavy gunner and one rank for each shotgunner, that's fine. In perception, I have maxed out skid shooter, so you can still shoot enemies even without fats. And because this is a fat spill, so take at least one rank of concentrated fire. And in endurance, I have maxed out life giver, cause you have to be close at enemy and you have to be tanky and I have maxed out fireproof, so you don't get killed by a random explosion. And I have radical that helps you for the carry weight. This is optional. In charisma, I have team medic maxed out. This is essential card for a support build, so your steam pack can also heal your teammates around you. And of course, maxed out tenderizer, which provides you 10% of multiplicative damage. This is incredible damage perks that's still available. And because Pepper Shaker mods use energy ammunition, so yeah, of course you have to use batteries included because energy ammos are heavy. This is a bloody build, so nerd rates is nice for AP regen and more damage and a bit of resistance. In agility, I have Action Boy maxed out because Pepper Shaker has very high AP cost. This build needs fast AP regeneration. I have Enforcer, only rank 1 is enough. This card is so fun to use, I will show you later. And I have Adrenaline, only rank 3. And of course, Doji, this is the important perk to use. Because this gun has very low distance, so yeah, you have to be close at the enemy to be effective. And I have rank 1 Bone Survivor. And this card synergizes well with teammates, so every time your bone survive are active, it also will heal your teammates. And I have rank 1 one gun army, this is also synergized well with enforcer. And the function is actually the same. And I have star tune rank 2, so you don't get random mutation. And the final one, critical savvy to increase the healing frequency with a medic weapon. Those are the base perks, now I'll show you the legendary perks and the final perk setup. So here I have 5 legendary special cards and one taking one for the team. And because this card is awesome for the 40% multiplicative damage, which also affect your teammates too. And because of I have a lot of legendary cards here, and that means I have a lot of special points on me. I will show you the perk setup that I enjoy the most. In Perception, I change to rank 2 Concentrated Fire and Green Thumb because this is a foot build. And in Endurance, another card for foot build that is rejuvenated, increase your AP region even more. And in Charisma, I will put maxed out Field Surgeon so you can heal your teammates and yourself really quick with Steam Packs. And here in Intelligence, I will put first aid to increase the effectiveness even more. And in Agility, I will put rank 1 Gunfu. And then through Hiker, so I can carry my foods on me. And in Luck, I put Good with Salt maxed out so I can preserve my food longer. And then Better Criticals for more damage. And finally, Grim Reaper Sprint because the AP cost is really high, so it's nice to have this card on. Here I'll show you my special setup. So I have maxed out strength, of course. And the most important thing here is I have 12 luck. Combine that with legendary perk card, maxed out. 
And then one more, it's the Under Armour. I'm using the Shielded Road Leathers. And it gives me 3 points of agility and 1 point of luck. So now I have 33 luck, which means you can critical for every other shot. So at least try to maximize your legendary luck perk first, at least rank 2. Now I will show you my main weapon. It's a Medic Pepper Shaker with faster fire rate and faster reload. I got lucky from the legendary crafting. I got this roll on the second roll. So actually this weapon inspires me to do this build. And I'll show you the mod that I'm using right now. I use single barrel because it fires more pellets per shot, which is awesome for medic legendary. The more pellet it fires, the more heal the weapon does. For the magazine, I'm using laser because fusion cells is easier to come by compared to the plasma and it's cheaper to craft. And also they have same exact damage. And for the side, I use gunner sight. This actually reduces your AP cost by 15%. It's not written anywhere so it's like hidden value. But it's really important for fats build. However, in some situation, it's better to have the DPS option. My best version now is just bloodied with limb damage which is very mediocre. An anti-armor pepper shaker with 50% critical damage will be the best for this build. I did solo Earl with mediocre bloodied pepper shaker, yet I still killed Earl around 6 minutes, and I died once. I'm sure with a perfect anti-armor roll, I can kill a between 3 minutes or 4 minutes with this build. And for my armors, it's still the same if you have watched all of my videos, I'm still using the same build, it's unyielding with AP refresh. You need at least 3 pieces with AP refresh. And luckily you only need the second star, so it should be not too hard to get like 2 star unyielding AP refresh and the type of the piece doesn't matter and I've told you this is a food build so I will show you the food buffs that synergize well with this build so I have mud fruit juice for bonus agility, tado juice for max AP blight soup for critical damage, brain fungus for intelligence, corn soup for AP regen cranberry relish for XP and pumpkin pie for max HP and look at my AP now, I have 490 because of this buff. Without this buff, I think I have around 450, which is still decent. And for the mutations, I have adrenal reaction for more damage when at low HP. And I have bird bones, chameleon, this one is not mandatory, it's optional. And the next one is eagle eyes for more critical damage. This is very good. And I have Heavy 4 of course to increase the effectiveness of the food buffs. And then Marsupial for mobility. I can increase the jump height and more carry weight which is nice. And the last one is Speed Demon. So I can increase the reload speed and my movement speed. Additionally, if you have like a lot of magazine on you, you can use Live and Love 3 for this build to increase the food buffs effectiveness even more. However, please note that these buffs are optional. You can live without them. This build will work just fine without any of the food buffs that I explained here. If you feel like you're having hard time to collect steam pack, get chemist perk on intelligence and craft 4 steam pack diluted from each steam pack. With max rank first aid and field surgeon, steam pack diluted serves you and your teammate well. And if they are too heavy for you, equip a backpack with chemist mod on it. So right now I have 64 steam pack diluted only from 16 steam packs before. And it's really worth it. And also, I forgot to use Super Duper. Don't forget to change to Chemist and Super Duper to gain even more. Oh, here I'll show you the combat showcase. It cripples the enemy crazily fast, even with only one rank enforcer and one rank one gun army. 
And thanks to the fats critical, it also deals decent DPS. Not comparable to something like Uncliff Plasma or Fixer, but still really good. And sadly right now the single barrel actually has a bug like rubber banding so I cannot kill this Milo King without the fats but luckily it works just fine inside fats but it's really annoying right now. I literally crippled all this Milo Queen's limb, including its shell. Oh, maybe this right arm. Alright, now all the limbs are crippled. I mean, this, this weapon is crazy. In case of fighting or Williams, what you want to do is shoot his leg to make him stay still and then you strafe left and right and keep firing to his head. That's it for today, if you have any question please let me know in the comment. Thanks for watching and have a good day.